My brothers and sisters in Christ, Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Let us rejoice and be glad today. And not just today, but every day for the rest of our lives. Because Jesus Christ died and today is alive forever. As Pope Benedict XVI said this morning in Rome, we too who have journeyed through the desert of Lent and the sorrowful days of the Passion, today raise the Christ of victory. He has risen. He has truly risen. And my brothers and sisters, what more could we ever want than to know that his resurrection is real? To know that we are also raised up with Jesus Christ. Been thinking a lot about, <clears throat> about this during the, this Holy Week. <clears throat> the lilies are not too friendly to me with the allergies, so I'm sorry for <clears throat> my uh, bad throat today. They give me allergies, that's all it is. <laughs> but I'm still very happy. <clears throat> Anyway, I've been thinking a lot about uh, the beauty of the resurrection as we went through uh, Holy Week. Because we, surely, we really should be living as people of joy. We really should be living as people of praise and thanksgiving. We are Christians. We are Catholics. That means we have risen with Christ. That means we are sharing His anointing through our baptism Yes, we are going to suffer sometimes. Yes, we are going to die someday. But today, we know that death is not the end. Yes, we are weak. And we have committed sins. But today, we know that God is merciful. Today, we know that by the mercy of God, we are going to live forever in heaven with him. Because today, Jesus Christ is alive. And knowing this should make us smile all the time, even when we have pain and disappointment in our lives, even when we are struggling against injustices in our world, even when we are aware of our own sinfulness. Because my brothers and sisters, these saints are not sad. A sad saint will be a very sorry saint. <laughs> and we all are supposed to be saints. We all are called to the perfection of Christian life, to holiness, to be with God forever in heaven. So we should be smiling more and laughing more because Christ is alive. And the joy of the resurrection should cause us to want to run off and tell everyone the beautiful truth that Jesus Christ is alive. Did you notice in our gospel reading for today that everybody is running? St. Mary Magdalene comes to the tomb, and when she sees the stone is rolled away, she runs to tell St. Peter and St. John. So then Peter and John start running. They race to the tomb. And St. John ran faster. And he got there first. They were totally excited. Even though they didn't, didn't fully understand yet what was happening. They were excited because they, they were surprised and amazed and happy that Jesus was alive. But the most important line in the gospel today is when St. John looks into the tomb. The gospel tells us, and he saw and believed. 
This is important. Because the empty tomb is the fact of the resurrection. This is what the apostles saw. They believed because they saw that his tomb was empty. And what about us, my brothers and sisters? Why do we believe? We did not see the empty tomb. We believe because his apostles told us they saw and their testimony was handed down through the centuries in his holy Catholic Church. We believe their words because we know that his resurrection totally changed the way the apostles lived. After Jesus was crucified, the apostles were scared to death. They went into hiding in an upper room in Jerusalem. But then Jesus appeared to them, and after that, they were fearless. Once they saw Jesus risen from the dead, they were not afraid to die anymore. And we know from history that every one of his 12 apostles suffered to the extreme to bear witness to Jesus and his resurrection. All but one of them was killed for his faith. Yet they rejoiced to be counted worthy to suffer for Jesus. They were joyful because they knew Jesus Christ is alive. And we see this kind of faith through the history of the church, especially in the lives of the saints and martyrs. And I have to say that even to this day, on this Easter Sunday, all these centuries later, we have to remember to pray for all those Christians who are still suffering and dying for this faith in our world today. Let's keep them in mind in a special way. St. Paul tells us in our second reading this morning that our lives are now hidden with Christ. This is the blessing that Jesus promised, the blessing that comes through faith. Our baptism joins our lives to his. It makes us his brothers and sisters. Our baptism makes us part of the family of God, his Catholic Church. So as his family, we gather this Sunday and every Sunday, just as his apostles used to do, just as Christians have done every Sunday since that, since that first Easter. We gather to celebrate his resurrection. That's what every Eucharist is a feast of the resurrection. Just as his apostles did, we eat and drink, drink with Jesus who has risen from the dead. We share in his bread and wine, and we have communion in his body and blood. And my brothers and sisters, Jesus gives also a mission to each one of us. The same mission he gave to his apostles, to be witnesses to his resurrection. So we have to run and tell others what we believe, that his tomb is empty, that because Jesus Christ is alive, we can now know true joy and happiness in our lives. Jesus makes all things new by his rising from the dead. So let us make this Easter a new day for each one of us, a new beginning. Let us live our lives with joy. Let us be more grateful every single day for God's tender mercies in our lives. Let us get up every morning and try to be less selfish. Let's try to serve our brothers and sisters with love and to tell the whole world that Jesus Christ is alive.
So my brothers and sisters, I wish, I wish all of you and your families Easter blessings. Blessed are you who believe in his resurrection. And on this beautiful morning, let us ask the intercession of the patroness of our great archdiocese, Our Lady of the Angels. May she help us to have a new heart, to really live as Christians, to follow her son with love, and to always live with the joy of his resurrection. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.